guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a review of this miel rosemary and mint strengthening hair mask i bought this last year sometime and it's only now that i'm actually getting around to trying it and reviewing it so yeah this is what the packaging looks like as i said this is the miel rosemary and mint strengthening hair mask infused with biotin it comes in a 12 ounce jar which is 340 grams which is great and it retails for 9.99 I did get mine a little bit cheaper from Beauty Bay. I paid about £8.40 using discount code. So yeah, the packaging says, restorative, deeply moisturizing, penetrative mask for dry, thirsty tresses. The rosemary and mint strengthening hair mask is developed with your hair's greatest needs in mind. Nourish, hydrate, and strengthen all at once with this nutrient-rich formula. The directions say to apply after shampooing with rosemary mint strengthening shampoo. Smooth evenly through damp hair from roots to ends and leave on for 15 to 20 minutes and then rinse thoroughly. I've checked the ingredients out online and there are a lot of ingredients in this product. And I don't really like that because I can't sort through what the bad ingredients are easily. So... I took the ingredient list from their website, mioorganics.com, and then I just pasted it into this website here. As you can see for this one, there's 32 ingredients. 28 of the ingredients are deemed good, 23 are natural, and there are four that are unfavorable. And also there were five ingredients that weren't recognized, but I do recognize a few of these ingredients just by looking at them. So one of them is macadamia seed oil, another one is henna extract, and the other one is rosemary leaves extract. I have no idea why it didn't pick it up on the system, but those other ones, they're supposed to be all right for the hair as well, so there wasn't damaging ingredients. So I copied and pasted it, and then I realized that some of the ingredients are different to what I have on my packaging. So I manually put in the ingredients that I have on my packaging into this website, and I did notice some differences to the ingredients that were online. First of all, I noticed that some of the ingredients are in a different order, which means there's more or less depending on what products you have. And I also noticed that there were some ingredients missing from my one according to the website and vice versa actually. And I think that must be due to the restrictions of certain products over here in the UK. And you know, they had to formulate in a different way for it to be acceptable to be sold over here. So I think that's what's happened. So there wasn't any babasu, ginger or coconut oil in mine. So all in all, my one has 39 ingredients, yes. 39 ingredients 30 which are deemed good and six that are unfavorable and as you can see in the picture there were three ingredients that were unrecognizable still strange huh as for the smell it has a rosemary scent it's not too potent but it did linger after i washed it out and when i was styling i could still smell it in my hair i did wash my hair with warm water and then did the cold rinse afterwards so the warm water should have got rid of it completely but the scent was still there <laughs> it was still there so yeah it's not the best scent unfortunately as for the texture it's quite stiff and i did find it quite difficult to apply to my hair so i had to make sure i kept re-wetting my hair so that i can distribute the product properly and also the tangling was quite difficult because it was so thick that the brush wasn't gliding through properly at all and it just felt like my hair was tugging a little bit while i was brushing i say the deep conditioner is more of a moisturizing deep conditioner with strengthening properties rather than a protein treatment yeah so it did leave my hair feeling soft and nourished and my hair was clumping up quite a bit as well which i like when i'm doing my wash and goes um, it's just easier to get the clumping action that i'm looking for so by the results that i achieved and all those natural ingredients are in this deep conditioner i reckon this will be a good addition to your must try deep conditioners the price isn't too steep and especially if you do get a discount card it's even better however i do prefer the other meal deep conditioner that i used in my previous video the babasu oil and mint deep conditioner the consistency was just easier to work with and the results were similar to what i achieved with this deep conditioner however the price of that one is more and you get less in the jar so yeah <laughs> But yeah guys that's the end of the review i hope this information was useful to you and if you have tried out this deep conditioner before let me know in the comments down below don't forget to give this video a great big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye